Hello, welcome to another review. Um, bit behind the curve on um, Cloudwater's uh, new releases and stuff. They're bringing out so many, um, along with several other breweries in the UK uh, at the moment. And I've just can't keep up with it all. Um, but I've, I've managed to pick this up um, on the 25th of April over at the Bottle Shop Margate. This is Cloudwater's North West Double IPA Citra 9% ABV. Quite a snazzy looking can. The beer's been out for a while. Um, this beer was canned by the looks of it on the 2nd of May of 2017. So it says drink before 06 June of 2017. So they're giving it a really kind of small shelf life. Um, two months. Wow, that's really short. Um, free, free is about what I, you know, that is very short. I suppose that's so they can get the next one out. Um, it's quite amusing to me though, because they used to, they used to give their original double IPA series. I'll, I'll show you after, but anyway, so nine percent. I'll tell you about the beer now. So yeah, bottle shop in Margate. I was shocked to see this. I caught a whiff of the hops already and it's about three foot from my nose. Look at the colour of that. Chernobyl juice coming out of the can. Or Fukushima. Fukushima water, whatever you want to call it. Um, wow. It's a one finger, just off white, slightly tinged yellow head. Yeah, haze. Big. I'm 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 getting ma almost like mango and big orange juice notes. You know, that far away. So I've got quite a big nose, so it's a bit shorter. But um, yeah, let's get an aroma there properly. Yeah, big mango. Very citrusy, maybe a bit of lime, lychee. Oh, wow. Quickly run through the ingredients. Uh, the yeast is J.W. Lee's. Uh, the aroma hops are Citra, Simcoe, how do you pronounce that? Helio Melon? I don't know what that is. And mosaic. The malts are golden promise, oats, dextrose, monohydrates. The bittering hops are pilgrim alpha CO2 extract. The same, fairly well, certainly the last part. The bittering hops and the malts are the same. 9% ABV, don't know the IBUs, allergens, gluten, wheat, and barley. Out of Manchester. I, I just want to go to Manchester even more now since the. Uh, atrocities that have happened up there really do um, we live in a crazy world um, just got to make the most of it because you don't know what's happening right enough gun beating I'm going to give this a try cheers cheers Steve from the bottle shop it's definitely a good mouthfeel. There's, um, here we go again. Certainly picking up a sweet, bitter balance. Slightly kind of, I don't know if there's any kind of, it doesn't say, acidulated malts in this. Dextrose, yeah, I, I don't know what these monohydrate. I'm gonna have to look some of these things up. It's very kind of intense, very concentrated almost. It's very good though. Mango, pineapple, grapefruit, the usual. Suspect, it's very dank. 
dank as fuck. Really is. There's a sharpness there. Slight kind of chalkiness, and then it, it's leaving on the palette kind of a like a raw ingredient bitterness going on. It's not unpleasant. Very tropical. Mouthfeel. Yeah, very sharp. It's probably a upper end of medium body. So this is the first of the uh, the new wave of um, away from the the versions that they they done. Is it thirteen versions? Yeah, thirteen versions. Excuse me. So there's a, there's a decent carbonation to the beer. Um, introducing our new double IPA style, which showcases yeast from one of Manchester's oldest family brewers and fresh 2016 harvest hops. Citra takes the lead, backed up by Simcoe, with J.W. Lee's 4,792nd generation yeast. Specialising in modern seasonal brew. The artwork is by Textbook Studio. And that's it. I mean, it's not too bad artwork. It's very kind of distinctive. Um, but I have seen... So I've seen better artwork. I mean, the, the version 13 I thought was amazing colours. This is a little bit more kind of simpler, almost like a um, there's like a bit of a pavement by the looks of it, and maybe a, a church window kind of pane glass kind of look to it. Yeah, it's decent. I'll keep them anyway. So, so this is in a f what's the size of this can? Uh, 440 mil can. So I don't know what size that would be. It might be a little bit below 16 fluid ounces. Yeah, it's below 16. So it's probably something, I don't know, 14, 15 fluid ounces, something like that. Look at that. Mad. I'm reviewing this on the 2nd of June. 2017. Yeah, very kind of sharp, slightly kind of acidic, like the version 13. And I actually had that when it was fresh and when it was what six weeks old. For some reason, for my palate and the way I like these kind of hazy beers, it was a little bit kind of a hot burn going on. Although this is what almost almost a month old, um, I'm still getting a little bit of hot burn for my palate. Just me. Um, getting back to the version 13 when I tried it with Jake when I went we went to Canterbury. I didn't do it. It wasn't like a proper review. We'd done a lot, of, a couple of flights of beers, and um, that was the first beer out, out of the whole. How many was it? Six beers we had, and it was so much more mellowed, smooth, more rounded. It had a little bit more malt going on. It was a real nice balance to it. Really good mouthfeel, but it wasn't like that when I first tried it on draft and in the can. Um, it mellowed out, it wasn't so much like hot burn, and I think for my palate and what I'm tasting, this is a little bit similar. It's a, it's very kind of sharp. But still beautiful, don't get me wrong. Maybe if you I mean I don't you don't age your IPAs, I know that. But I preferred it six weeks after it was canned, or you know, it was in keg when I had it. I had it about six weeks apart, and it was better. 
six weeks on. Um, the hot burn had faded slightly. There's a little bit more malt, but still very good, very sweet, very creamy, very smooth. Mouthfeel, it was better then. And I think this beer could be the same. Could be. Um, if I can get another can of it, I, I might age it for five, six weeks, just to, just to see for myself. Um, but that's just... just that's just me though. Depends how you like your IPAs. Everyone's different. So, but um, as for a rating, then I'll give it one more taste. Very good. I'll give that a nine out of ten. That's a nine out of ten from me at this stage on the second of June. Um, the fifth would be a month old, so it's a shade under four weeks old, so still red of relatively fresh. Um, I won't do another. I won't do a re-review of it in, if I can get another can of it, but I might put uh, some tasting notes down below in the link um, down the line if I have it. Um, so yeah, nine out of ten from me. Let's have a look at the scores elsewhere. Uh, what does it say there? This is rate beer. Wow, hundred. Overall, 100 in the style, in the top 50 uh, Imperial IPAs on rate beer. Um, that's pretty impressive. That's 100 ratings out of 100. So everybody is giving this 100. That's impressive. Beer Advocate, they're saying 87. I'm a little bit higher than that, that's 13 ratings, 30, only 13 people, which is really weird. Uh, this was added on the 13th of May, so it was a little bit later, American websites, they've added it, I don't know for why. Untapped seems to be the most, kind of, more, most used, shall I say, um, and they're, they're very, kind of, this was added on the 21st of April, to Untapped, so, and it's had... 3,101 ratings, it's coming in at 4.28, which is it's a shade under what I'll give it. I'll probably, as I said, a 9 out of 10 on their ratings is a 4.50, um, but that's still very good for that amount of ratings, over 3,000 ratings, and it's still pushing a 9 out of 10. So that, that kind of gives you more of a, a clue of what a, a lot more people think about the beer. There's a lot of fives at five caps there. Um, and that's it really, um, it's got a total of 4,362 people have, ch have checked this in without rating it, uh, or, or, you know what I'm saying. Anyway, so if you've had this, uh, the Northwest Double IPA Citra from Cloudwater, let us know your thoughts and opinions, there's the back if you want to pause it, let us know what you think. Um, it's a long review, really sorry. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, that would be really cool. Give us a thumbs up. And if there's anyone else, which I think there might have been one or two other people who have done the review, I'll put their links down below, so check them out as well, and subscribe to them as well. They're all great guys. Thanks for watching then, and I'll see you on the next review. Cheers.